Each of the muses had her own special art. Calliope, the muse of heroic po poetry, was the first among them. She had a mortal, mo mortal son named Orpheus, and he sang almost as beautifully as the muses themselves. When he was grown, he left his mother and his eight loving aunts and went to live in his father's kingdom of the race to bring the joy of the music of earth to earth. His voice rang so pure and true that the fiercest warriors put down their swords and salvage beasts lay spellbound at his feet. Trees pulled up the roots and moved closer to listen and even hard rocks rolled up to him. One day, Orpheus was playing the harp in the woods, and a tree started shaking, and he played a little bit louder. Then the tree split in two, and a woman came out. The gods have gave me here, my beloved. Your name shall be Eurydice. Really, Zeus? Really? What kind of name is that? This is a joyous day. We should be married at, married at once. So Orpheus led her to his town, singing praise to the gods. Orpheus' music was joyful and sweet, for he was in love with her. Then Eurydice heard a voice calling her name. Eurydice, Eurydice, come this way. Of course Eurydice follows. Eurydice screams. Or gets bit by a snake and screams. Oh. Uh, Orpheus found her, but it was too late. Eurydice died. Hades, Hades closed her eyes and gently led her to the underworld. As Orpheus walked through, his songs made the gates open, and Hades' three-headed watchdog laid at his feet. Die, you watchdog! Hey, ho, ho, Hades, will you let my wife, Eurydice, go? No, you foolish boy. No man has ever returned from the underworld. Please let this woman go back with him. She may go, but only one condition. You will walk one step ahead of her and never look till you reach the living, or she will return with me forever. So they started walking up the steps. Orpheus had many doubts, doubts in his head, like, is she there? if you're here, please give me a song. He was so close. He could see the light of the day and hear the birds creeping. He couldn't wait any longer. Orpheus turned around and he saw Eurydice seep away into the underworld. Or Orpheus, play your beautiful music. The land is so dry, we can't plant any crops, we'll starve. No more music, ever. Orpheus was with Eurydice forever.
Yeah! No! Yeah! Please, come on! I'm not going off here! It's for me! Oh, okay. They're going to go get that sword. Spotter! Oh, get the net first, Jeffrey. Hey! Bro, Grab the net and pull yourself up. Hold the room! Ah! <laughs> it's like Griffin! It's Orpheus on the rim. As Orpheus walked through, his songs made the gates open, <laughs> and the three and Hades' three-headed watchdog laid at his feet. Star. Gangnam Star. <laughs> Gangnam Star. Gangnam Star. Oh. 